All Looks right. Three, three two, two, one. Tetris. Tetris. All right, OJ. And we have, uh, as uh, so just for the people who are not as familiar with these players, uh, Nichols is a PB of roughly 655K. Misty PB is around 720K right now. Uh, both players with uh, a lot of a lot of great potential at an event like this because we do in fact have heavy hitters coming. So if any of them are going to set new PBs, they will have the opportunity to do so in competition here. Absolutely, yeah. And I think even with, the, with PBs this high, I think we'll see some really solid 18 play and we get to see a lot of exciting maneuvers going into 19 as well. So it'll be interesting to see how players strategize as we come up on, onto the transition at 130 lines. Uh, and I think that uh, games like this are actually uh, really good entry points because the sheer speed of 29 play, which it happens to come down to a lot at higher echelons, is it's uh, it can feel a little unapproachable for people who are new to the scene. And one of the things that's made the classic Tetris scene great is the inclusion uh, towards new people. So matches at all skill levels have something to offer every player, and we are always happy to see the scene grow and change. Yeah, like this is great to see. Is it like it's great to see like now that we're coming off the heels of the CTWC, it's great to see some like some more calmer action, like knowing that the game may end at twenty nine rather than having maybe having to wait at till thirty nine. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. so so for those of you who uh may be newer members, for many years twenty nine was called the kill screen. Uh, because it was thought to be impossible to play on, and if you've been following the scene in the last five years, uh, there's been a lot of debate about what to come up with a new name for that. Second transition, thrill screen, uh, because people do play there now. But uh, the game we have right in front of us, we are in fact seeing just very solid fundamental stacking from both players. Uh, not a lot of burns, uh, good pace coming in on both sides. Nice. Uh, we're coming up on the 50 lines, and it looks like Misty is just about ready to hit the 200k mark with another Tetris, which is always a great pace to have. I, I personally like, love having a pace where, it's, where we get 25, every 25 lines we get another 100,000. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty solid. At um, So the at level 18, which is the, the, the common starting level in tournament play, Tetris are worth 22,000 points apiece. Uh, if you are at, uh, if you're approaching uh, 400, 500k when you get to the 100 lines, you're in extremely good situation. Um, you know, the, the, the good max out potential transition scores uh, start at around 500k and becomes more conceivable the higher you can get uh, for the level 19 speed increase. Yeah, personally, like 550k is where my heart starts racing, and that also increases the chances of me misdropping and topping out at level 19. <laughs> I mean, you know, the pace horns blow, and, you know, you hear their call. Tetris for Nichols coming in nice and strong. Uh, only about a uh, two Tetris difference between players. Misty with a, a solid lead, and about dead even in lines. Yeah. Misty with a 40k, nice cyber Tetris. Mm -hmm. 40k lead over here, which is about two Tetrises, a Tetris of change. A lot of J pieces this game. Yeah. Uh, very, very high proportion and a re reasonable number of long bars, but J's in the 40s at this point. Getting a little high on Misty's side, but uh, the, the structure that Misty has been maintaining of that double well, which allows for so many different pieces to create a burn at any given moment is part of why that's, uh, that, that height has never been an intimidating problem. Yeah. And Tetris for Misty, just strong 350K. Sing up for a, a nice, oh, perfect L tuck. Ooh, slight miss shift at the top of the stack. But, uh, if we look over at Nichols Ward, also put, putting down some pretty, pretty nice, clean fundamentals as well. Mm -hmm. like, you have that beautiful sloping left. Uh, that uh, th those burns that Misty had to take, that's an opportunity for Nichols to close up some of this, uh, and uh, bringing it back to about neck and neck. Uh, within a thousand. Right. And we're at the 100 line mark. Boom, Tetris for Misty, 382k to 358k. Nichols has a nice Tetris setup, has some burn opportunities. Boom, Tetris. 
and uh, so from the chat, yeah, Misty. Misty, I believe, based in the Midwest, made it all the way to New York. Uh, hello, Andrew. Hello, Mitsu. And as we approach, uh, as we're crossing 400,000, 430,000 for nickels, this is actually uh, extremely solid pace. A little bit of a roof, but as long as they can get that cleaned off before the transition, that's actually a really good setup, and I've got a few lines to do it. Oh, split double burn. All right, Misty building a little off the bottom. Nichols gotta gotta get a little clean with the few lines they have left. Deciding to go for that that funny burn, but has to do another burn and now is burning of the last few lines of level 18 that there is. Nichol, Nichols getting these alternating burn shelves, really hoping that we can get it low into the Ooh. transition. Ooh, a miss drop right afterwards. Like that's what happens at the speed increase if you're not ready for it. This is yeah. the the critical moment. Oh, is there a J? There's a J. Nice. Gets the J over. Nichols. Oh, oh Nichols. Perfect pieces to solve. Yeah. Misty uh, just about to transition, uh, almost even in score. Fortunately, has to take the safety triple to burn down the board, but you really, really want to be concerned about board health during transition. I, I didn't notice this, but Nichols took the lead very, very briefly, and, and Nichols is on the way to top eight. Unfortunately, Nichols is... Nichols has a, a 2,000-point oh, lead. But Misty's 2K away and also tops out. Oh. Oh, that is so close. Very close. Very tight game. <laughs> uh, Nichols, uh, by a the slimmest of slim margins, uh, you know, is that is that a single on on uh, level 19 or so? Maybe, maybe uh, a little more. A little more than a single. You guys but wanna, still. Let's, uh, let's, let's head on back to uh, right when the action hit. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at, at the critical point that that miss shift at the beginning of right after the level nineteen transition. That that's where that's where it all began. Uh, all right. Looks like they're incrementing their seeds. Cool. Yeah. What was interesting about that game was that uh, Misty had the lead going into like for most of level eighteen, and somehow like as we were coming up to the transition. Nichols is able to, to claw back a little bit of advantage, and that was what was needed in order to get the win. This was a game where the miss drops were really the most crucial turning points. Yeah. Uh, because that's the thing. Uh, in 18, your goal is efficiency and make sure that you can always make use of the bars for scoring. Looks like they're getting ready. All right. Uh, all right. Looks like we are ready. Next game. All right, here we and go. starting with, yeah. Okay. All right, good enough. Yeah. Yeah. M Misty obviously trying to exploit knowledge of two pieces, <laughs> but, oh, but we do not. We do not press this point. We look over it. Yes. It's true. I mean, you could. You, you can, in fact, try that playing from behind yeah. as a strategy. That is true, but that also means that you're spending more time looking over the opponent's screen, and that and those few seconds boom. you spend to look over might mean the start of a misdrop, and suddenly you can't put your eyes on your opponent's no, screen anymore. It, it, it's, it, it, like any strategy, this is not, in fact, without risk. Yeah. It is a gamble. Mm -hmm. Misty, uh, early lead with a couple Tetrises. Nichols continuing to... Maximize efficiency. Boom, Tetris for Misty. Pulling ahead, but still very, very early. Um, really solid construction. There, were, there are points where you start to see uh, small issues, small dependencies in a stack develop, but it's... Uh, oh, most players, even at this level, it, it takes a it takes a lot to actually start compromising board health, and it only becomes really crucial at the transitions. And Misty with either a T tuck. Or, oh, nice Ooh. J spin. Yeah. Very slick. Yeah. Oh, and, oh and, another Z spin. That's what I was looking for, like a T tuck or Z spin. We Misty with the swag action. Yeah. And that's the thing uh, that I, as a player who has played more modern, that's my, my inner misdrop on Nickel's side, but this can this can come down nice and easy. Uh, 
the thing that I struggle with in the transition back to classic is how much I rely on the wall kicks and the different <laughs> rotation systems that are only in modern. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just it's just practice. Just practice. Just make sure you're in the right mindset at any given moment. Yeah, it is. It is a bit. Uh, it might be a bit jarring to switch between the two because I remember when I first played. Uh, my first play, when I went switch back from classic back to to modern, I looked at the colors. I'm like, why there's so many? It's so bright, so like too many colors. I was, <laughs> I was overwhelmed. The colors, dude. Yeah. The colors. Not not Ooh. to mention that like the L, J, and T pieces. T, 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 T spin, spin like, setup did not quite manifest on Misty's side, and Misty is now in a little bit of a dig situation. Where's the J? Uh, well, we got long bar. That will work. Nice T. Uh, there's something that needs to fit on that left side. We need. Oh, L is perfect. All right, maybe a Z piece will help out. Z, no Z. Z, oh, oh no. no, a little no. bit too much traffic right up top. And uh, Nichols not out of the woods, not out of the woods. Uh, another 10k. Yeah, 167k will take the game. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't need to be much, but does need to survive. Yeah, it's not going to be free by any means. And oh, I would wi I would wish to do some funny like modern spin in there, but that is not no, possible it's, here. It doesn't. Yeah. You wish it would. You wish yeah. it would work. Modern gives you some classic bad habits in terms of wishful thinking. Yeah, like, to get away with so what do you much... mean I can't T-spin triple here? <laughs> All right. Why isn't have... my opponent getting garbage? I think Nichols is pretty safe and set up. Oh, does not take the Tetris, but and either way, that'll do the it. win. Yeah. 169,000. Nichols, second win. I know. Two match points. Uh, after uh, strong, after strong, strong eighteen games. Uh, let's see. Let's see another one go to transition. Let's, I, I mean, I, I want to see him hit twenty nine. I want to see <laughs> these people, these players pushing each other. Yeah, I would love to see that kind of game. Well, I mean, it's it, it's always exciting when you see people, you know, break records either. You know, rec general records or even personal records in competition, because like that is, like, I was I was thinking a lot about this recently. Even in the act of competition, so much uh, of the camaraderie is being each other's driving forces to improve. I mean, seeing the uh, you know the, the the dog and Andy matchups really you see that at a very personal level, but at a, on a broad scale, the people pushing each other to become better. Such a huge part of the community. Oh, wait, I think we had different seeds here uh, oh. starting on the last game, so I think they're going to restart that. Let's let's, let's make sure that they're yeah. same piece sets. Yeah. Uh, a tremendous advantage, which uh, if anybody is watching the documentary Best of Five, uh, in the 2014 championships, we did not yet have the technology uh, to uh, put same piece sets in play in the in this in that scale of competition. Did, it, did the RNG happen to favor a certain player? Uh, it, you know, uh, I, I'm not gonna spoil, oh, but we definitely <laughs> did see uh, some of the impact of RNG. Oh, uh, M Misty oh, with the, the Vits. Vits. Vits All right, if you're in chat, Vits for the Vits. Let's go yeah. it and follow it up with a Tetris. So, uh, for those who don't know, VITS is an acronym for Vertical Eye Tuck Setup. It usually happens on Column 9, where we have a little... Yeah, we, we little can throw a replay on that if we want to just highlight that what that is for the new players. Coming up. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, nice Tuck Setup, uh, or Z-Spin, available on uh, Misty's board. All right. All right, we're getting the replay coming through. We'll be able to see what that happens. Yes, all right, do you have it on your, uh, the controls on yeah. your side? So here you'll notice that if we, we can slot a long bar oh, right over here. Yep. So by keeping this this height of four, we're able to slot a long bar right in there. Yeah, and VITS yeah. is Vertical Eye Tuck Setup. Yep. And that's what it is. Uh, if, you he if you're in the CTM Discord, you'll be hearing people talk about Throw bits for the vits, or maybe that's just me. <laughs> nah, I hear it as well. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's like ideally the best use of the long bar is to score a Tetris. The second best is the vits. No question. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, got a little bit of a center well developing. Oh, gonna transfer. Gonna transfer. Keep it safe. I think that's a wise decision. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, Nichols uh, develop is showing a lot of discipline in keeping the Tetris well open uh, throughout a whole lot, uh, even even through some burns. Misty with the long bar dependency, but luckily gets the long bar and gets another long bar for the Tetris. Very fortunate timing. Um, well, so this is a very uh, strong and solid game, and it's uh, it's not even wildly disproportionate long bars. Pretty even piece distribution. Uh, relatively low Z count, which, you know, no one's complaining about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I noticed that initially a lot of people did not like the square, but I think that that attention has turned more towards the Zs, because if you think about it, let's say you have a two wide well, that Z is not going to be happy with it. It's the only piece. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, some really good, uh, class and double well maintenance on Nickel's side, uh, which has just been really strong consistency, uh, serving them very well through the match. Misty getting, getting a nice setup going as well. Strong left. Building around that spire. Very nice skill stops from both players, because I believe both are DAS players, but... Uh, I, I do believe, yes. Because you can hear the rhythmic clicking of mm -hmm, each of those. Mm -hmm. No, you, 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 there's, there's so many different like just patterns and a little little DAS AS, D A S M R. <laughs> Can we go with that? <laughs> that? That's a clever acronym. Yeah. We'll we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, real simul Tetris, both players. Uh, Three sixteen to two ninety eight K at this point. Uh, strong, high scoring potential going in. Ooh, the tight, Ooh. tight hang. Uh, Misty is going to have to burn off this roof very quickly. Hopefully, there's an S. There's a nice S piece now, and uh, an L or a long bar would be nice. But unfortunately, has created a few more holes. Oh, oh, oh hang with the J, and unfortunately, it's going to seal off column one. And again, uh, there we, is some small chase like down. Nichols. Small yeah. chase down. Certainly achievable, but oh, you know, that. not a gimme. Especially, so so uh, th that that is not ideal double well maintenance that we're seeing from Nichols right now, but very well managed and just another 11k. Any Tetris will do it. You can definitely also accomplish this with doubles. 9k. Nice combo burning over there. All right. 320k will seal the deal, but this is still quite a scary board, especially with those S and Z pieces. Those are not nice pieces. What a tough burst to deal with. Oh, and now the L arrives, but unfortunately that well is... Oh, the hang on hang column on two! Left. Oh, Misty and is fighting back. <laughs> this Mis is very similar to that game one where where Nichols had a bit of an advantage, but Misty could not catch up. This time, Nichols had to do the catch up and could not, could not seal the deal. Always a nail biter. Okay, uh, and uh, though we are going single elimination, uh, as you know, uh, people have probably observed that it was not uh, be be best of best of three. It's best of five, even though we are going single elimination now. So, had it been best of three, this this would be over. <laughs> All right, uh, one more match point for Nichols. Uh, ooh, it's always a rough start with a Z, but uh, oh, we've got some uh, synchronized Tetris going on nice, for the first five nice pieces. Talks. Always nice to see that happen. You got a bit of an, I think that's an L tuck or a square burn into a J tuck. That that works as well mm -hmm. for Misty's board. And oh, Tetris for Nichols. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, some. I think Misty was expecting a burn there, but unfortunately didn't get it. Might, might have also been a double yeah. flip. Hard to say. Mm. But uh, definitely can get that open for business again. Uh, nice use of the long bar. Nichols, uh, two Tetris lead at this point. Uh, really being able to maximize quite effectively. And another one. And another one. Uh, 20 lines, nearly 90, uh, 94,000 change. I think Very this is the first exciting. game where we see, uh, we see a sizable sizable um, advantage piling up for one of the players. In this case, it's in the favor of Nichols, who is about 60k in the lead. No, it, it, I mean, it was... It really started from being able to uh, make use of the first couple bars uh, for scoring. And, like, early efficiency can, in fact, snowball. But... 
uh, there's still a lot of game left. Only 30 lines in. Oh, uh, Tetris, uh, slightly dirty. Uh, maybe a dusty Tetris when you're up <laughs> one off the floor. Yeah. Can't but, be calling it too dirty. Not not quite a Kingsman dirty Tetris, but <laughs> but we will we will see we'll see we'll take a, yeah. a dusty Tetris here. A nice burns from this oh, as well. Oh, excellent. Really, really efficient. Uh, Nichols opens the well just in time to make another Tetris with a uh, 85. It's about a four Tetris lead at this point. Uh, up slightly less as Misty starts firing back. You know what's really interesting? Both players are pretty much at the same spot in the queue right now. So. It, it, it's always nice when you can see that happening, unfolding. It's like, yeah. are these the same pieces? Oh, oh, yes, Nichols, they are. Nichols is doing an S-flat all the way on top of the board. Oh, oh, oh no! Ooh, Nichols got jammed up near the top. Yeah. Uh, but uh, as with the previous games, it is another chase down situation. Uh, not open for business when the when the long bar came. Oh, nice burn with the L, and now a long As bar open, would be great. We need, we need that bar. Yeah, it's it, I, like I, I feel oh like, no, oh, with the no, shift tight, but and, the long bar comes. Ending the drought just in time. All right, Misty choosing to commit to this to this dig over here, but it's going to be a bit tough because there's still a lot of garbage down there to get through. Right, nice burning. Certainly getting enough bars to take this down. Just got to make sure the stack can accommodate. Yeah, awesome use of that J piece. All right, a square for that L. We'll, we'll do a nice burn. Oh, nice. Sh Sh Shocky, I, I, I might be thirsty. And the only thing that can quench my thirst. <laughs> what will it be? It, it, will, it, 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 it would be a D cider. Sir. Well, it's coming. It's coming, but we need, we need the stock for it. We need to make sure we have the supply. All right, nice Tetris for Misty. Uh, oh, and just uh, just 5K left. Uh, Tetris or, yeah, definitely. Oh, going for the double. Tetris. I love to see that. Boom. And Tetris 228. For Misty. All right, you we'll will take it get down. your decider. Oh, I, I need my nice, refreshing decider on this lovely, hot, hot, hot Saturday afternoon in New York City. New York is, is absolutely sizzling right now outside. It is humid and it is hot. I, I asked my, uh, my my smart home assistant who shall remain nameless for the weather report, and I was told uh, a high of 93 with clouds and thunderstorms. I really did not know what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess Three, the whole... Three, two, one, Tetris. Oh, I'm, I, I mean, one thing is I'm wearing shorts and I'm very comfortable. That's all that you need to do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very impressive dig from Misty last game, though. That... Really, really strong play. Like, th those pieces were not particularly kind to either player. Uh, Nichols, yeah. Nichols maintained the early efficiency, but uh, you know you get too jammed up at the top of the board, especially with Das. Uh, that can that can go away, especially when a player has uh, has runway. Yeah. All right, both players about a Tetris in. All right. Nice building. Ooh, I depend on really from high, really high on to this side. Dig. Oh, setting up a T-spin. Well, it, we'll miss it? it. Yeah, oh, T-spin. So successful and so satisfying. Yeah. Beautiful. And followed by a nearly simul Tetris. Yeah, for those of you coming from modern, unfortunately, T-spins do not reward extra points, but we will point it out, and you will get coolness points from us. Uh, hello, Wiley, coming on in. Have some more folks who are very thirsty for D cider, being very happily satisfied at the moment. A uh, little bit of a tough situation on Nichols' side, but definitely cleanable. Uh, and always frustrating when you have to stack on top of your well. I think this might be a nice burn, though. Like, look, that nice use of the S and Z pieces will get column two open and ready. And there it is. So, so, so that choice also to build out your. Your, your column one, rather than resolve the two-piece dependency, uh, was also turned out to be very good, especially for long-term board health. Yeah. All right, nice, nice build up from both players. Oh no, I think both Nichols players have to be building up because they really. Th this is not a very high bar game percentage. A lot of T pieces coming in, not so many bars coming in. Uh, T pieces 25 to 12 bars at the moment. Nice burning from 
from Nichols, choosing not to build for that greedy, dirty touch. Oh, Misty hangs in a Z piece on the left, and Nichols has a bit of chase down to do. So any any score above 152k will seal the deal. No, no one, no one's had to. I, I believe uh, all but one of these games have been chase downs. I think that's true. Yeah. Huh. So that's that's always exciting to see. Uh, another one more Tetris and will I think do change. it? Let's find out. Oh, uh, that is it. Do Let's it. do it. Yeah. do it. One Tetris is good enough. Congratulations, Nichols, to Nichols. Advances our Misty. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, I believe under the circumstances uh, we gave uh, we gave. Uh, uh, next up, we have uh, Super Shocky coming in versus Favar. <laughs> All it, right. it, are, are, are you feeling some deja vu at the moment, Shocky? Oh, 100%, man. I, that that last month, that set went... those Actually, those few sets went pretty long. Like, that 